a calamity is first and foremost defined as a great misfortune or disaster. Number two, it is defined as an event marked by great loss, distress, and suffering. You need to know there are things men do in the spirit and even physically that can translate to a loss, a tragedy, and calamity. There are physical things that people do, but there are things people do in the spirit. Watch this, please. When Job's wife told him, curse God and die, what did she mean? How do you curse God and die? What do you say or what do you do? Because everything we know, men had said it and they did not die. So what, what, what formula can a man use to say something to God that leads to death immediately? Job knew how to do it. The wife knew how to do it. Curse God, he says, and die. How about King Herod? There were things that King Herod did and fell immediately and died. Worms came out of his body immediately. There were things that Ananias and Sapphira, are we Bible students? They did that made them to fall immediately. These things are captured in the Bible. I'm saying this because there are many people who have put together negative principles without knowing and they became victims. There are things that when you do in the spirit, there are things when you do upon the earth, it will translate to losses, calamities, and tragedies. Now, whether you know it or not, if I hold a gun, not knowing it is a gun, and point it at myself or someone, not knowing, let's assume it's a child, the gun will not refuse to shoot because it's a child holding it. Are we together? And that child may shoot that gun, become the first victim, and anybody else can die. The gun was designed to respond to whoever operates it, knowingly or unknowingly. The gun does not have the ability to distinguish ignorance, childishness, or adulthood. Whoever triggers it. Mm. And there are many people who have triggered spiritual laws. Listen to what I'm teaching you tonight. There are many families in their statements, while they were saying things, doing things, they were putting together a code in the spirit, giving the realm of the spirit an instruction, bring loss to our family, bring tragedy to our family. It is true. Hmm. Hallelujah. There are things men say to God. There are things men say to men. There are things men say to creation that must have an effect immediately. Creation will respond in a way that you may not know. Now, demon spirits know this. Occultists know this. When they want to destroy an individual, they don't come to his house to destroy him. They say things and program the spirit and send it to the man. The first reason why tragedies come upon men is the absence or the lack of discernment. The absence or the lack of discernment. There are people today with all due respect, if they had discernment, they would not have jumped into certain vehicles. If they had discernment, they would have known that these people you see are arm robbers. If they had discernment, see, the end time will demand that your sensitivity is acute and strong if you must survive today's days. Because Satan can translate himself as an angel of light. There are many people today who have gotten in trouble because they lacked discernment. Oh, they could not discern that this is not just malaria. That in one week, everybody began to be sick. That something, this is not just malaria happening. This is the devil trying to bring, raise his ugly head. And that it will take more than a medical attention. There are people who did not discern when the spirit of God was telling them, start fasting. Give yourself to three days fast. And sometimes God will not tell you why. Yours is to obey. It's in the place of obedience that more revelation comes discernment discernment sometimes God can give you a job that may not make sense but within that job is what connects you to the next level the absence of discernment one of the proof of a matured believer is that you have trained your faculty to be able to discern things discern things Please lay your hands on your head and say in the name of Jesus the grace for discernment I receive it right now discernment 
discerning opportunities, discerning moments, discerning evil when it is forming that I will not allow evil form before my eyes and then destroy me, making me a victim of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I obtain grace, grace, the ability to discern. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From scripture, there are only two principal ways to build discernment. Number one, the knowledge of the ways of God as revealed in scripture. And number two, praying in the spirit. These are the two principal ways that the saints build discernment. You don't wish discernment. Number one, the knowledge of the ways of God as revealed in scripture. If you do not know how God works, the devil will act in a way making you believe this is God until it destroys you. The knowledge of the ways of God as revealed in scripture. And then number two, praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit helps the saints to build capacity to discern. Capacity to discern.